Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady. And I'm Callie, Bree's neighbor. And today, today we are gathering branches of Prunus mumes and other flowering trees and shrubs that are nearly in their flower stage so that we can make some beautiful fragrant arrangements to bring inside. Yay! So we are going to, specifically we've got two Prunus mumes that are right on the verge of flowering. And one is just above Callie here. This is Prunus Mume Matsaburo Red. And uh, we're gonna start right here using some big loppers. All right, we are up on the command central bench with my long handed loppers. And I think we'll just take this one big branch Ooh. And then we'll be able to cut it into a bunch of smaller ones for small arrangements. Yay! <laughs> All right. And as you can see, Callie is holding that branch. We only needed to do one cut. And we'll be able to chop this into a bunch of smalls so that we can put them kind of in bud bases. And we don't need to make huge arrangements. Uh, but it's nice to be able to stash these like in the bathrooms. And I definitely want one in my office because I'm back to spending a ton of time on my computer. So just like the Matsaburo Red, here we've got Bonita. I'm going to try to just do one bigger branch so that we can cut this down ugh, into pieces. Oh, that was a big one. And we're going to get some Jasminum nudiflorum, the winter flowering jasmine, to add to our Prunus Mume bouquets. This is such a great plant. The fact that it's in full bloom in January every year. So that one's good though, because you see how it's got all these buds that aren't open. Those will open inside. That's called forcing. <gasps> then I'm getting more. <laughs> and maybe take them back a little farther, like maybe make this cut back here. There you go. All right. You want to go in and let's make some arrangements? We're going to get one more. Though. <laughs> one more. It's the biggest one. Here you go. It just cut. Oh, it's Kelly's so pretty. All right. So we've got a couple of vases. And I'm just going to start by trimming these down. Reginald likes to be a part of everything. Perfectly reasonable. Um... So basically just cutting everything off of that central stock. And now I've got nice manageable sizes that will fit in these small vases that can go basically anywhere. Ooh, look, here's a flower that's open. It's like a cherry blossom. It does. So these are the same genera different species than cherries. This is a flowering apricot instead of a cherry, but it's still prunus and the species is mume. Well, everybody, I hope that you're inspired by this really simple approach to making your own homegrown flower arrangements using beautiful trees that are flowering in your garden. In this case, we've got Jasminum nudiflorum and two different varieties of Prunus mume, the flowering apricot. And I want to give a shout out to Callie, who is an awesome gardener in training, but maybe more importantly, a really amazing photographer. Uh, she's just been going around the garden taking pictures and I can't believe how good they are. So I'm going to post them in an album on uh, my Brie Gross Facebook page. So if you haven't followed me on Facebook, you should check it out and you can look for Callie's magnificent photography. Well, um, I thank you so much for watching and I'm wishing you all the best. Take care, everybody. Happy gardening.